Okay, we're taking a look at a cool product from Spec Ops. This is the Recon Wrap. And we've got them in a bunch of different flavors here. The Red Bandana, uh, the Foliage Green, Desert Tan, uh, High Visibility Orange, the Blue Bandana, uh, Coyote, Black, White, uh, it's American Flag one, and then uh, the Camo. So we'll uh, open one of them up here. It's got basically a cardboard, card paper card wrap around it. Tells us they're good for PT, the beach, gym, biking, snow sports, running. Uh, basically they tell you how to use it as a helmet liner. Over here you've got instructions for um, how to tie it into Sahara mode. You've got the eight different functions of it here. The boonie mode, goggle cover, baklava, getting your hair out of the way, using it as a sweatband for a helmet liner. Sahara mode, keeping the sun off your neck, and then as a neck gaiter. So this is good for all weather, uh, hot and cold weather. Um, it's basically a tubular piece of material, very lightweight. Um, even like a lightweight t-shirt material I guess. A little bit more um, elastic than a t-shirt material, material maybe. And is there a seam? I assume there must be a seam somewhere. But if there is, you know what, I don't see a seam here. So it's a very light material. However, I'm guessing if you bunch it up a little bit, it probably can retain heat pretty well. And I don't see a seam, so I think it must be built in sort of a tube. We've got a Spec Ops brand uh, logo there. And you can see it's pretty long. It says on there, I'm sure. But just to test it out, we're looking at about 20 inches long. I figured I'd, I'd dump, compare it to one of these military issue ones, which definitely have a seam. And not that it's a big deal, but every time I've worn this, that seam happens to get on my ear or my eye or somehow in my way. And uh, mine are all surplus because I'm cheap and I buy them used. And uh, the elastic is breaking in them. They're real heavy duty. There might be more than one version. This is the Gator Neck made here in Safford, Arizona. And you can see that it's a... 90% probably propylene and then 10% lycra so it's pretty uh, elastic but uh, it's almost too elastic and they're great for the cold weather but in hot weather no way I carry them but just for at night in case I get stranded somewhere they make a great hat but now this one can pretty much double up on itself and just about be as long as the military issue ones here just an inch or so shorter than the military issue one with it doubled up on itself Plus, this recon wrap goes down to nothing. I can hold it literally in my fist, where this one, you know, there's a lot more bulk to the military issue one. So enough comparing them. This one is a pretty neat one. Um, it's a high-tech microfiber, they call it. And let's see if their logo says what it is. Something about a hundred, some percent polyester microfiber, made in USA. Always good. Anyway, I'm real impressed with them. Uh, they're lightweight, so you can wear them in all seasons. Like I say, you can double them up or scrunch them up, and they're going to hold heat. Um, they're in nice colors right away, so you know they're not going to clash with your gear and stand out. Um, if you want them to look sort of normal, you can get them in the bandana colors. Uh, of course, the black for your uh, night ops and ninja ops. White for your uh, snow ops. But seriously, these are great. They retail for about 20 bucks, and uh, I'm real impressed with them so far. We'll be using them quite a bit and uh, getting back to you on periodic reviews of how they work. So that's the Recon Wrap from Spec Ops.